Good morning, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez plans to visit Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev tomorrow as Spain takes over the European Union's six-month rotating presidency. Sanchez wants the trip to be the Spanish presidency's first act to show with his presence the EU's undivided support to Ukraine in all fields, military, humanitarian and economic, his office said. He said the war in Ukraine and its consequences will be a priority during the presidency. Countries holding the presidency traditionally try to set the agenda within the bloc, though the results ultimately depend on all member states. Police yesterday said they had seized 233 million euros worth of cocaine in part of an anti-drug operation that saw some 13 people arrested. A total of 6.5 tonnes of cocaine were discovered stashed in homes and warehouses in Andalusia. Police also seized around 1.5 million euros in cash, various vehicles and valuable watches, according to a statement. Police first detected the criminal organisation headed by one of the main drug dealers in Spain back in October. The vast sums of money being made in the drug trade were allegedly being laundered through a business dedicated to buying and selling frozen fish. But the real money was made buying large quantities of cocaine from South America and importing it through maritime shipping. Police say the cocaine was imported amid banana shipments coming from Colombia and Ecuador into Algeciras. Lando Norris has revealed he's had a number of expensive items stolen in a robbery at a villa in Marbella. It's the second time the British Formula One star has been targeted by thieves after he was accosted by two men and had his designer watch stolen after the Euro 2020 final at Wembley. McLaren driver Norris, who's 23, was understood to be on holiday in the south of Spain for three days when the incident took place. But speaking to the PA news agency ahead of this weekend's Austrian Grand Prix, Norris said we were out for dinner and our place got robbed. Spain and France are starting the first joint CO2 storage system in Europe. The old gas fields in southwest France will serve as a storage location. Furthermore, this project will contribute to CO2 neutrality by 2050. The intention is that the storage will take place in the French Pyrenees. This joint project is called the Picasso Project and aims at decarbonising the industry in the region involving both French and Spanish companies. CO2 storage is a process of capturing, transporting and permanently storing carbon dioxide gas to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.